All right, now that we got sad out of the way, it is time for us to preview WWE Crown Jewel. It goes down this Saturday live from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia as part of Riyadh season. Overall, I'm looking at this card. Um, before a, ma- a certain match was added, I'll be honest, eh, it was all right, my excitement. But then they added on Monday at the end of Raw, during Raw Talk, you know what match I'm talking about. They added that six-person tag match. Some would say that it's too soon. Some would say, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in that camp. It's too soon. Exactly. And I agree. And I get that, too. I get that. But the way I look at it, right, you know, there were talks, again, the war games, right? The war games match and all that stuff. And it goes back to what I said on Raw Rundown, by the way. Oh, that's one of the matches. I was just testing out to see if, you know, this was working. And it is. And it is. But um, one second here. What is this? There you go. Um, When I look into it, right, it comes down to this one person, bro. My man right here. Turkey Al Sheik. He wasn't like he like that. That doesn't work for me, brother. I don't want this match in Saudi Arabia. Yep. Pay and what? He, exactly. What he? What he? He gets what he wants. Yeah. Rightfully so. Yeah. Rightfully yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. You're never gonna tell this man no. No. You no. be it, a fool. We tell this man no. Probably one of the most powerful people on on planet Earth right now. To be honest, like exactly, dude. Exactly. He is, and I know you said this on, on our group chat, and I'm and I said it too. He is literally the booker and promoter of the year, bro. Oh, yeah. Hands yeah. down. Hands down. 100%. All the fight that he's done, all the friends in Ganu losses in boxing, Turkey, you know, funded it. USC going into the sphere for Noche the UFC, Turkey. Um, the UFC going to Saudi Arabia, Turkey. Turkey. Crown Jewel, Turkey. Shawn Michaels coming out of retirement. Turkey. Uh, Turkey, right? Everything. Turkey, bro. Everything. Even these boxing fights that we're getting. You know, the re, you know the first yeah. Joshua, about uh, the Tyson Fury, Usyk, and the rematch, yeah. Turkey. Bro. Yeah. Tur- Turkey's making these boxers actually fight each other, which is very impressive. That That's why he's my book and promoter of the year. Who has influence on all three major combat sports like that? Like, that's crazy. So... You know, Dana White only has influence on UFC. Triple H only has influence on WWE. But Turkey, he has influence on all three of them. And yeah, so. Exactly. So I said this earlier. This will be a video as well. So I will clip this as well. This will be part of a video for you guys to watch too and all that stuff. Just so, hey, there's more content on the channel. All right. There's seven matches on this card. Overall, I look forward to obviously the the six person tag because against Roman Reigns. I'm sure, obviously, Gunther and Cody are going to have a, a crazy match as well. And honestly, I look forward to Bronson Reed and Rollins. Yeah. What about you, Chase? Like, your, what's your excitement level for the show overall? It's solid. Like, I like the Bloodline match, even though I feel like it's completely rushed to get to this point. But, yeah, I would say it's solid. Like, Cody and Gunther should be fine. Rollins and Bron- Big Bronson Reed Spine. I know a lot of people are happy that it's seven matches. No more five matches. Uh, by the oh, way, shout out to Turkey again. He got seven matches. On the- <laughs> He's forcing <laughs> Triple H to do seven matches. Uh, oh. Not really a fan always of these Saudi shows just because it's early in the morning. Way too early. It's not like the 12 p.m. It's at 10 a.m. So it's like oh, uh, 1 p.m. over here. It's one of the things. It's- but man, these odds are fucking oh, we'll, crazy we'll get right into- now. We'll get into that too. We'll get into that, and I'll ask you too. Uh, are I'm pretty sure you know. Maybe you have, maybe you have not. You know, put a couple bucks on these matches. I'm doing we'll it ask- right now. I'm doing oh. it right now. You're doing it right now. So yeah, let's get into three this. matches that I like on this. Okay, okay. We'll get into the first match here, and it's Seth Rollins versus Big Bronson Reed. Um, this build has been going on ever since, I guess, the night after WrestleMania where Bronson Reed laid out Seth Rollins, laid him out. Now, take that back. It was a uh, backlash, right? Was it backlash? No, it was Raw. Right. It was, yeah, it was that episode of Raw where he laid out Rollins, right? They didn't bleed the tsunamis, and they've literally done a great job in building up Bronson Reed as this monster, right? Um, 
And I just know like these two guys are going to go at it. They're going to have a killer match. I would say, you know what? You can have Bronson Reed w- get the first win. But then again, you know, I would not be shocked if Rollins gets the win. But for me, I'm going to go with Bronson Reed. But for those that are wondering, what are the odds for this right now? Her uh, bet online, right? These are the odds. Bronson Reed's at a plus, uh, minus 175. Seth freaking Rollins, a plus 135. Chase, did you or did you not uh, put a couple bucks on this match? I put 50 bucks on Seth Rollins just now. Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Seth Rollins going in Saudi. Guys, this is not W. I I don't think the sports books understand. This is not WWE booking the show. This is the Prince and Turkeys booking the show. Like, what? Oh, like yeah, Seth Rollins is winning for sure. I'm gonna be what? That's stupid. There's no storylines on these Saudi shows. They're just matches. Seth Rollins is winning this match. Everyone's gonna be pissed. Oh, Bronson should have gotten the win. Yeah, he will get the win. When Triple H finally gets the pen back, right now Turkey and the Prince have the pen, pen, and they're having Seth Rollins win. That's what, that's what's happening. Come on. Yes, absolutely. Are you putting a bet now, too, Steve? No, I'm just trying to like you know put some little banners here. I'm just checking the grammar here is correct. That's all. And then... you misspelled Bronson Reed. Oh, in the mud. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Bro. In the mud. In you got the... all. You got all freaked out. No. Uh, there you oh. Go. There you go. Bet odds courtesy of Bet Online. I thought I misspelled courtesy. Oh, in the mud. <laughs> did I did I, mis- did I misspell courtesy? Put it up. I'll tell you. Right there. It's, it's on the bottom there. Courtesy. C O U R. Yeah, it looks it looks correct. Sure. All right. Well, 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 I'm sure someone in the chat will correct me. Even in the comments, you misspelled the word, by the way. But that comment's probably coming. But um, we go on to the next match here. We have the women's uh, multi fatal four way for the tag team women's tag team title match. You have the champions Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill defending the tag titles against the team of Chelsea Green, Piper Niven. Uh, Damage controls of uh, EO Sky and Kyrie Sane, and from NXT, Lash Legend and Jakara Jackson. The odds as we speak are the following Jade and Bianca are a minus 1500. Chelsea and Piper Niven are a plus 510. Kyrie and EO are plus 850. And Lash Legend and, and um, Kane and Kurt, oh my goodness, her partner. God damn it, I forgot her name. <laughs> you just said it. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh Chance my goodness. Chance Carter, right? Chance, Car- Chance Carter, yeah. Chance Carter. <laughs> plus 900. Plus 900. Chase. No, just, just stay away. Uh, it, she, there's like if Kyrie and Eel were, because look, uh, a lot of the Asian girls, they ca- tend to win on these Saudi shows. Like I've noticed, like, because Asuka, she won and stuff, but like, the Japanese tend to win on these shoddy shows pretty, pretty often. So I, I thought Kyrie and Io would be closer odds, but they're not. I would say it way. They, they're probably my second favorite to win. But yeah, I think Jade and Bianca retained the tag belts here. I think so, too. I think it should be a fine way to showcase the women, right? Get them out there. Let them show their outfits, what they yeah, got for yeah, Saudi. I'm sure we're going to see a commercial that it's so progressive out there. They're driving now. They The women can finally... Turn the key in the car or something. No, no, no. Even better. They have jobs now, man. Oh, the, the women in Saudi can finally work? Wow, that's great. Yeah, they, they'll show, like, the women in Saudi can finally, uh, yeah. You seen that meme of the girl punching, like, the fucking punch meter, right? And then you see, like, it transition to the dude, like, mopping, like, cleaning the house and all that shit. Yeah. You see that now. Oh, man. In Saudi Arabia now, it's the men. Doing the house chores now. Yeah, no longer the women. So, such a progressive company they are. Wow. Amazing. Amazing, yo. Amazing. We go on to the triple threat match for the U.S. Championship. L.A. Knight defending the title against both Andrade and Carmelo Hayes. Triple threat. Now, there was, as you guys remember on SmackDown, L.A. Knight was a special guest referee in match number seven. That's Jakara Jackson. Who the heck is Chance in the mud? 
in the mud. <laughs> My bad. My bad. <laughs> in the mud. Oh, the LA Knights winning, Steve. You don't even need yeah. to put the odds. Uh, well, 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 it's, it should be a five triple threat match. You, you sure? The, for those people wondering, though, these are the odds. LA Knight minus 250, Andrade plus 185, Carmelo Hayes plus oh, 700. Andrade could become a double champ, speed and US champ. I'll be honest, though. I, I do have LA Knight winning, but I'll be honest, man. His title run has been so uneventful. It's it, it's been very bad. It's a bad title run for LA Knight. He's super. I blame that more on booking because I just feel they're not booking him well. Like he he was a good chaser, and I felt he would be a good champion because he can talk. But he, he's not doing shit. Yeah, but it, it's it's a really bizarre title run for LA Knight right now. Yeah, for sure. It, absolutely, it is. Uh, this is why, honestly, when if, if Drew were to go to SmackDown, just let him rock the belt. Have just. Drew beat LA Knight, and there you go. That would be fine for him, yeah. I like that. Yeah. From there, we go on to Randy Orton versus Kevin Owen. This match, you know, Triple H, they don't want to put them. They, they, authorities did not want to make this match official. That being, you know, Nick Aldis. So then, obviously, Randy Orton went to Triple H. Triple H said, you know, he's not looking. He, he's not looking out for Kevin. No, he's looking out for Randy Orton. Those were Triple H's words, Right. And the match for what it is, look, it should be fine. I do have Kevin Owens going over here. Or honestly, this could probably end in disqualification where Owen just snaps. You know, but for the odds yeah. right now, Kevin Owens a minus 600, oh. Randy Orton plus 350. Chase, uh, did you, did you not? Uh, no, I think uh, Kevin Owens is winning. I think they're going to give Kevin Owens a clean win over Randy Orton. It's not Randy's time yet. Kevin Owens, they got to build him up as a heel. Cody needs something for at Survivor Series in Canada. It'll be a good one, too. You know, Cody entering enemy territory, and we'll see how beloved, like, obviously he's beloved, but we'll see, like, what it's like if a Canadian Kevin Owens entering as the monster heel, if he gets cheered a little bit more. So I like it. I'm fine with it. Yeah, sure. Kevin Owens gets a win. Why not? Um, I, I, I'll take that. I'll take that also. We go on to now the championship matches here, the two main, you know, interpromotional matches. Let's let's put it that way, right? The crown Jewel Championship. The Crown Jewel Champ. We start off with the women, Nia Jax versus Liv Morgan. Now, for those of you that are wondering, what are these odds? You may ask, what what are these odds? Well, Nia Jax a minus two hundred, Liv Morgan the plus one fifty right now. Chase, did you did you not uh? I stayed, away. I, I stayed away from this. I, I can't. Nia Jax is like, they're trying to build her up as like a super monster. So I do not see her losing this match to Liv Morgan. No offense to Liv. It's not that she's bad. It's just, I, I just don't see her losing. Like, I, just I, don't don't see see Nia, I don't see Nia losing right now. Like they're trying to build her up as like the most dominant thing coming out since she's returned and she's been great. I think she's earned it. They're obviously trying to build up to that Tiffany, Tiffany Stratton turning on her. So, you think we'll you think we'll get a tease of a cash in on set on Saturday afternoon? Uh, I think we might. I think very possible. Time to make the make the play. Maybe you never know. I mean, she did say, you know, what if she cashes in? Does Dom go with her also on Raw? Cup was it last week or so when they were taped? So a, a Dom face turn. Dom just. Dom just tags along with uh, Tiffany Stratton. Man, it's what like a roster! Life. What a roster for Dirty Dom, Rhea, Liv, and then if he gets Tiffy time, jeez, yeah, but bro, it's three for three for three, dog. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Not bad, bro. Not bad. But uh, I'm gonna go with Nia Jax on this one. We then go on to. Just see, here we go. Here we go. We go on to Cody Rhodes versus Gunther. For the Crown Jewel Championship. If you're wondering what are these odds right now, Gunther's a minus 500, Cody Rhodes plus 300. Those are the odds right now for this match. Um, overall, look, we know the last time they were in the ring, 
it was during the Rumble match, right? Like, you know, they were going at it in the ring. I know they did the same thing on SmackDown, right, where Gunther cooked Cody on the mic, right? Called him a golden boy. You know, you, you do everything for the company, but not for yourself. I'm not afraid to say no, right? It should be a fine match. Here's the thing, like, do you have Gunther go over here? Or do you have... So, yeah. Cody you think about... so, I, I put money think... on Cody. Okay, you got to think about this too, right? The last time these two were in Saudi, they won. Like, Nia won in Saudi the last time, and so did Gunther. You know, so... Because the thing also, like, you know, Gunther after this, he likely feuding with Damian Priest. Because Damian yeah. Priest did say on Raw, you know, hey, you know, finish up with well, Cody. Damian did lose to Dom, so maybe he's feuding with Dom. Oh, maybe. Oh, well, yeah, you're right. Maybe triple threat. <laughs> maybe triple see, threat. See, just because I wasn't on the Raw rundown, Steve, does not mean I didn't watch Raw. Come on. Unlike you, I don't like to disappoint one of our investors, Triple H. Well, I did do a Raw rundown yesterday, um, on Tuesday. No. For, you know, we did. You know, in case you guys have not checked out, you know, again, where's that at? Make sure you guys go check out the Raw rundown here on the channel as well. That piece right. of shit, Sami Zayn. I always knew I couldn't trust him. Neither can I, bro. And then, and then, and then, say, Jay Uso had everybody to say he's not family. Every right, every freaking right. Um, but I still, don't, I still don't trust Jay. I put Jay's. I can't trust him yet. Too soon. I get that's too. That's fair. Um, it should be fine. All you want. I can see the near falls. I see maybe Ludwig getting involved, some way, shape, or form. But I'm gonna go honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna go with America here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with America. Cody Rhodes. We're trying also to also factor in. We're trying Alexa to build week. Cody Rhodes. Yeah, we're trying to build Cody Rhodes to face the Rock. The hell? We it also we, factor like, in. What are we doing? In the spirit of election week coming up, America shines. I'm fine with Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes beating Gunther does nothing to hurt Gunther. If anything, it gives Gunther more motivation. I put money on Cody Rhodes easily. Plus 300? That's great value for Cody. These are ridiculous odds for Cody. It is. Oh, Ro Romeo, wait until you see the bloodline odds. I could not smack that faster. Holy shit. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. This is what really got this match exciting. And all thanks to this man right here, Turkey. Thank you, Turkey. Thank you. The main event. This is main eventing. I don't care what anyone said. This is the main event. Uh, right here. Maybe kicking off the show. You think so? You think Rome is ready to get on the jet after this? Like he told, yeah. uh, he uh, told uh, the higher ups, just like Francis Degon told Dana, get the jet ready. Yeah, Roman's like, get the jet ready. We we on first? Because I don't know. They made the big deal about these crown jewel championships. I don't see how this goes last. I this is a good opener. This is a fine opening match. Could be. But again, I just think because Roman Reigns, right? It's I love how they both have the Ula follows on on this graphic. <laughs> but it's the battle of you know, of course you, you know, like fucking solo wearing the Ula follow. You're no, such no, no, a I'm, traitor. I'm, no, you're, no, you're no, such I'm, a traitor. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm no, just saying. No, 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 no. You're just a traitor. Just, look, look how even happened. Look, look, look at these odds. Steve, yeah. Steve, 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 you're you're so far up Solo's ass. You can literally just like sniff his butthole. That's how far nah. you're up his ass. You could really? see what he ate last week. That's how far up your big old ass you're up. But, but you know, it's hashtag not my bloodline. That's Solo. That's not my. No, bloodline. no, 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 no. You liked how he's wearing a little fall up, even though he's I'm just saying, like, not, he has not earned dude. it. He has not he earned it. it. I know he's at. Yeah, I know he hasn't doing? earned it. Why? Why but, do you just always want to get off the island? Like, what do you mean? No, I got, I got a, I got a boat tour company on. Yeah, I'm doing a boat no, tour. No, no the, Romeo can back me up on this. This, this is ridiculous. Absolutely oh. ridiculous right now. I, I have a boat tour off the Abs island. Basically. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, just, but just show the odds. Show the odds. The odds, yes. The odds, yes. The odds are for this uh, Solo's bloodline, huh? Minus seven hundred. Roman's bloodline. Plus 400. Those are the odds right now for this. Yeah. And uh, Steve Sakoa, come on. Yeah, Steve Sakoa. Yep, that's you. Steve Sakoa. We're, we're, I thought you were going to dress up as Solo for Halloween. What happened? Nah, we, 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 we couldn't I, happen. I dressed up as a Dodger fan. I dressed up as a Dodger fan for Halloween. What's going Dressing on? Dressing up as a Bret uh, Hart fan. <laughs> where's your stains on your shirt? Like most wrestling fans. 
no, 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 I'm, I'm a clean wrestling fan. I'm a clean one. All right, sure. Decent. You'll see. But, um, but um, I get what they're trying to say here. They're thinking that Solo's waterline should win here so they can build towards another match. But no, fuck it. Clean sleep. These guys stink besides Jacob Batu. It's Roman's bald line. All I, I, the I agree with way. that. I agree with that. But I think also factoring in Roman's win, Ro, Roman's Roman's bloodline wins, right? On Saturday. Where do you go from there? Do, do you really want to see a war games match after that? Because I, I want to believe like we're you... we're getting the war games match regardless. It does not it does not matter. Triple H already has that match booked. It doesn't they'll find a way. Fucking judgment day lost every match and they got a war games match. What are we talking you, about here? You make a valid point there. Now, do you think that that traitor, Sami Zayn, makes an appearance in this match? Considering yeah, they're in Saudi Arabia. And he's over his rover in Saudi Arabia. Just saying. He gets involved, right? Everyone think he's aligned with Solo because there's that thing where he was talking to Solo in the parking lot. But then to find out, he shows he is still loyal to the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Even though he told Jay he doesn't need the bloodline, he has no business getting involved in it. But he comes full circle. And realize he's he'll forever be the honorary use. Maybe, maybe he's the reason why the book. I don't even want to say it. I can't say it. I can't say it. I'm just gonna stick with the bloodline winning. I'm not gonna think of any storyline stuff. I'm just gonna be the Roman Reigns stand that I am, and I'm just gonna say bloodline wins. Acknowledge the real tribal chief. Then the fake the waterline. They can be all like, "No, no, okay, Roman got one on us. That's great, awesome." Can't do it again, especially in our territory. War games or something. Who knows? Who cares? Yeah, but that, but that is a uh, crown jewel happening this Saturday afternoon. Romeo, I know you're in the chat. Are we doing a watch party for this? Just want to make sure. If we are or not, I know there's games happening. I, you know, I don't want to. Just want to oh, make sure. I'll tell you, I won't be there. I understand. I understand. But um. Likely the the post show will be on Monday on Steve's Kitchen. That'll be the review on Steve's Kitchen. That's when it's gonna go down. Oh, okay. well, you're trying to piss off an investor. What? I mean, I mean, yeah, I want. I mean, yeah, be done do a post show. Romeo, if you're in the, you, you want you want to do a post show after? Oh, see, look, he's doubtful, doubtful. Mm. Yeah, he's like he's like a Tyrone Tracy Jr. on my fantasy team. The D doubtful. He's not playing. Oh man, sorry to hear that. Yeah, but uh, that I, is crown. Really need is, him this week. That is crown jewel. Overall, uh, that's going to be it for us here, guys. Much love to all of you. 